In this video, we're going to show you how to install the AC condenser on your Ford Mustang located right in front of the radiator. Before starting this job, you want to have the AC system professionally evacuated, normally done at a local repair shop. Using an 8mm socket, we want to loosen and remove this bolt. We want to remove the expansion take hose from the port on the radiator. Our particular one has a hose clamp on it. We're going to use our flathead screwdriver to loosen and then we'll slide that hose off. Now we're going to remove the expansion tank from the vehicle itself. We're going to grab the tank and just gently lift it up out of the bracket down below. And go ahead and set that aside. We're going to use a half inch socket. We're going to go ahead and loosen the nut on the terminal here. And go ahead and give this a little wiggle. Now we did spray this down with some penetrant here to go ahead and loosen things up. Wiggle that terminal off and just set that down aside. Use the half inch socket or wrench. Loosen the nut. Now that we have that nut loose, we're gonna go ahead and twist this and lift that off and tuck that off to the side. Now your battery is normally held down in place into the battery tray by a wedge that is normally in this location right here. And it's screwed in usually using a 10 millimeter bolt going through the middle and it secures the battery into the battery tray. On our particular model, it is gone. It appears that the bolt or screw had broken here. You wanna go ahead and remove that bolt out of the center, remove that block on your vehicle and you can go ahead and lift up on the battery, pull it up and set that aside. With the battery removed, we're gonna go ahead and loosen and remove the three eight millimeter bolts holding the battery tray in place. Now that we pulled out our two bolts here, there was a stud over here that secures this in. We're just gonna gently pull up on this here, pop that out, set this aside. Now on your vehicle here, holding that battery tray, there should have been a third bolt here. Ours is here, but the head of the bolt was completely gone. It's just a threaded stud here. So we're able to pull our battery tray up through it. Now we need to remove this. We're gonna to have to replace our bolt and the retaining clip underneath here. So we're gonna just remove this and we'll replace it with some new hardware. On the back side of the fan, you're gonna find the harness going to it and there's a little clip on the back side. You wanna go ahead and lift up on that clip. Sometimes you can use a trim tool. On ours, it's actually broken, but you would use a little trim tool to get inside. Lift that up gently and then wiggle the connector off like so. Now, if you follow the harness back, Use your trim tool to remove the little retaining tabs for the harness. Should be a couple of these. We're going to remove our upper plastic cover here. There's going to be four retainers supporting this in place. Pop that out and repeat for the other three. Once you have all four of those out, go ahead and grab that cover, pull it up and set it aside. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the left bolt and loosen the right. Spin the bracket over. It's a bracket on the driver's side here supporting the top of the radiator. Use your eight millimeter socket, loosen and remove that bolt. And then remove the bracket. Let's go ahead and do the passenger side. 
Using the eight millimeter socket, I'm gonna loosen and remove the two upper bolts supporting the radiator cooling fan. This is on the driver's side. Let's go ahead and remove the one on the passenger side. We're gonna pull the fan up out of the little lock tabs down below. We're gonna drop the driver's side down and lift up on the passenger side, swinging that up and out. On the passenger side of our AC condenser, we have our lines going in, and there were two 13 millimeter nuts. We need to go ahead and loosen and remove those nuts. We're gonna use our socket with extension. Now that we have the nut off there, when we go to separate the line here, you might hear a little decompression from the cooling system here. Go ahead and work those lines out. I'm going to separate these here. I'm gonna use a securing strap to go ahead and hold our radiator back and away here. This is gonna give us access to the wiring harness that runs across the top of the AC condenser. There are three plastic push pins securing this in place. Go ahead and use a trim tool to go ahead, get in there and pop these out. Sometimes these are brittle and you'll have to replace them, but do what you can to pop them out so you can reuse them. On the top of your AC condenser, there's gonna be a bracket on both sides of the driver and the passenger side. Use your eight millimeter socket. Loosen and remove the bolts carrying these. And pull up on our wiring harness. And then we want to lean our AC condenser inward. Go ahead and pull off that upper bracket. I'm gonna do the same for the driver's side. Grab that AC condenser and pull it up. And you just wanna go ahead and manipulate those studs around the radiator and pull the unit up and out. I'm gonna install our studs here. I'm gonna go ahead 
it and thread these in. Make sure that you're installing the shorter end in. Once those are installed, we're going to use our six millimeter socket. You want to go ahead and just gently snug those in. Now on our lower port here, go ahead and pop off that rubber plug. And we're going to install our rubber O-ring. And I'm just going to pop our plug back on while we install our unit. On the bottom of your AC condenser, there's going to be these little rectangular tabs here. And these fit into rubber mounting bushings down below. So one on each side. Let's go ahead and slide this down in a position. Once you get those brackets lined up, you can pretty much push that little mounting point down into that rubber. Install our upper mount here. We're just going to press that onto the top. Let's get the driver's side installed. Let's go ahead and get our upper screws installed here. Okay. Go ahead and snug that down. Let's go ahead and repeat for the other side. Let's go ahead and line up our harness. Now we did source some replacement plastic push pins here. I'm going to take some PAG oil here. What I want to do is want to lubricate our O-rings. Now, before installing your AC lines, you want to make sure that your O-rings are in good condition. If they're not, go ahead and replace them. In our case here, we replace one. The other one is in good shape. I'm going to put some PAG oil on the O-ring seals. I'll reach down here and remove those rubber plugs off of the AC condenser. And put some PAG oil on that lower O-ring here. I'm going to go ahead and release our securing strap here off of our radiator. Let's line up our lower AC line here. Push that into place and grab our upper line here. Do the same with that. And wiggle that line. You want to make sure that it is fully seated. Let's go ahead and install the nuts on those studs there. Get them started a few threads. And if you can, go ahead and spin them on as far as you can by hand. Now it will allow a little more room for your hand in there. You can simply lift up on the radiator. You can get two hands in there and help spin those on. Now let's go ahead and snug those down. Once that nut bottoms out, just give it a little bit more, not even a full quarter turn. You want to make sure that that's snug. Do the same for the other nut. Snug that down. And make sure you wiggle that radiator back into its mount down below. Install your radiator brackets.
good, snug that down. Good and lower our fan in. I'm gonna drop our driver side in first, get the mounting tab in, and then we'll lower down the passenger side. Then we bring it up together on both sides and lower the fan into the mounting tabs on our radiator. Let's go ahead and install our mounting bolts for our fan. And snug those down. Once that bottom's out, just give it a little bit more, about a quarter turn. I'm gonna install our little wire harness retaining buttons here into the fan. And then install the connector onto the fan motor itself. Tighten down the bolts. Install the upper cover. Lower your expansion tank mounting tab down into the bracket down below. Just gently snug that. Install the hose onto your radiator. Now if you have a hose clamp for that, go ahead and snug that down next. Install your battery tray. and gently snug that down. Snug that. I would normally have a third bolt that goes through here. Ours is broken, but if yours is still good, go ahead and install it there and snug that down. Go ahead and lower the battery down into the battery tray. And bring up our positive terminal and pop that into place. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and install your battery wedge or hold down block down here. Put that wedge in, get that bolt lined up, thread that in and snug that down gently. What you want to do is when you tighten that down, you just want to make sure that the battery doesn't slide around like this. You want to make sure it's locked in and pretty snug. Once that's all set, grab that ground terminal. Hook that up and you wanna use your ratchet to go ahead and snug these down in a position. You wanna go ahead and snug that down gently. Now you don't wanna over tighten these here. You wanna get that snug, grab that terminal, give that a wiggle, make sure that doesn't spin on there. Go ahead and do the same over here. Snug that down, give that a wiggle, and that's not going anywhere. Now that you have your battery installed, you want to go ahead and take the vehicle down to your local shop and have that AC system recharged. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.